Hi everybody, you are watching Vitorias. My name is Alex and today I'm gonna show you how to draw with a pen tool in Gravity Designer. And before we start tracing any design, in this case we are going to trace this way. I'm gonna explain you the difference between four types of knots or four types of anchor points or four types of joints as they call in Gravity Designer. So, joint is any anchor point that has one neighbor. So this is a joint, this is a joint, and this is a joint that has two neighbors. So we have four types of joint, but um, three of them are subtype of the smooth uh, joint or smooth anchor point. So straight anchor point. It's a point that doesn't have direction handles. So it doesn't have direction handles at all. To start drawing your straight anchor points all you need to do is to position your pen tool then click left mouse button key then position another point and left mouse button key then position another and click left mouse button key and so on and so forth all of these are produce you straight anchor points anchor points that doesn't have direction handles at all another type of anchor points is a smooth anchor points. Smooth anchor points is the anchor points that have direction handles and it creates this curvy line. It can be split on three major types. And first type is the mirror anchor point. Mirror anchor point is a type of smooth anchor point when your direction handles are dependent on the size and on the position from each other. So what I mean? Now these anchor points are inclined in 180 degrees, so they are form a straight line. And when you position one direction handle, it will influence another direction handle. It's a first rule, so they are dependent on the position. They are also, if you're dealing with the mirror anchor point, they are also dependent on the size from each other, so they have equal widths. Let me show you. If you enlarge one of them, it also influences another. And this is how mirror anchor points works. If you switch your, the anchor point to the symmetric, symmetric anchor points dependent on the position, so it's also inclined on 180 degrees angle. And if you change position, of one direction handles is uh, automatically updates the position of another uh, direction handles. Uh, but each of them are independent from the size. So if you increase the width of one anchor point, uh, one direction handle, it doesn't influence the width of another direction handle. And this called uh, symmetric anchor points. And when you switch to the disconnected joints or disconnected anchor points, disconnected anchor points have independent Bezier curves. So they are independent on the position, they are inclined in any angle, and they are also independent on size. So, and this is a main difference between the smooth anchor points, anchor points that produce direction handles and let me show you how to create these anchor points in right design so first let's position a couple of anchor points that have a straight nature i prefer to use the term angle this is how they call in adobe illustrator so guys to create a mirror anchor point all you need to do is simply hold left mouse button key and drag and the direction you drag anchor points in 95% of time you will drag in the direction you draw your shape. So if I draw a shape from left to right, I will uh, I need to drag from left to right to create this curve. If I gonna drag in the opposite direction from rough right to left like so, it will create this kind of lasso or uh, loop uh, in my design. So if you don't need to create a lasso or loop, all you need to do is to drag from in the direction you're drawing. And this creates a mirror 
anchor points. As you can see, they are both dependent on the size and on the position. But if you release your left mouse button key and let me uh, place another anchor point. It will automatically update to the symmetric anchor point. Uh, now you can change the size of one Bezier handle and it doesn't influence the uh, size of another anchor point. And this is how it works in Gravity Designer. If you want to create a disconnected anchor point, all you need to do when drawing with the pen tool, let me switch to the pen tool uh, to actually uh, continue your drawing. You all you need to do is, is to click on the anchor point at the end of your path, either big uh, anchor point on the beginning or on the end. So let me click here. As you can see, it's produced. It uh, allows you, me to continue my uh, drawing, and then. All you need to do to create a disconnected anchor point and this create a disconnected anchor point so in this case it uh, has only one bezier handle but if you want to create two bezier handle first you need to draw to hold left mouse button key without alt or option and then hold alt and create a disconnected anchor point like so so guys this is uh, how you can create the four types of nodes in Gravit Design and uh, let me show you how the basic rule how you need to trace your designs. So the major rule how to trace any shape with the pen tool is that any angle or curve or arc should be defined by three dots. Very basic and very simple rule. What I mean here if you probably just start with the pen tool, you tend to draw like so. This is the first curve, then you use your Alt key to reposition your one of the handle to create a disconnected uh, line, the disconnected point, then uh, position another curve here. So probably all of your curves would have, probably all of your curves, uh, curves would and angles would have at two only two dots but I encourage you to create three dots when you define a curve so guys let me show you what I mean this is the first curve we have and I'm gonna position one of the dots in the middle and then also position one of the dots into the end of this curve like so then position another dot in the middle of this curve and in the end of this curve then position into the middle of this curve and in the end of this curve as well then position uh, in the middle of this curve and in the end of this curve as well in the middle of this curve and in the end of this curve as well in the middle of this curve and in the end of this curve as well and again it plays the role of the middle of this curve and I'm gonna position the last curve here but what I really want to emphasize here that number three is critical for any curve and any angle when you tracing your designs with the pen tool so guys uh, now you trace objects of any complexity with your pen tool and let me explain how to delete the anchor point and add anchor point to your path. So to add anchor point to your path, it's really very simple. All you need to do is to hover on the free space of your path. Notice that cursor will change to the plus sign. This means that you can add anchor point. You also can add anchor point and drag to influence the direction handles. You can also hold Alt key and influence only one direction handle, so it's kind of disconnected line. So basically all of them. You can also use Shift key, but it's uh, also uh, always restrain the uh, angles in this software. So if you want to restrain the angles and create the basic handles that are 
incline it on the 45 degrees angles, uh, shift key is your best bet. So how to delete anchor point in Gravity Designer? All you need to do is first hover over your anchor point. Notice that cursor was changed and now has this tiny arrow. It means first you need to delete direction handles of these anchor points. Now cursor will change to the minus sign and now you can delete actual anchor point. Let me show you it again. Delete direction handles here and then delete anchor point by itself. So this is basically the end of this tutorial. If you enjoyed, give a thumb up, subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. I want to thank you for following to the end and hope to see you in the next Gravity Designer Basics videos.